Hey, what's up, guys? This is Julian Wong of formerly of ForexPitmaker.com, um, and now currently, you know, I want to do a review on the BTC robot. I didn't want to do this review. As you read in the blog post why I didn't want to do it, but too many people have been asking me about it, and you know, it's come to the point that I just have to say some stuff about the Bitcoin robot. And a lot of people I know have been asking me about my opinions on the Bitcoin robot and I'm actually going to show you what I think about Bitcoin robot right now. So uh, we're here in the affiliate page of the Bitcoin robot. And the reason why I'm taking you in on the affiliate page of the Bitcoin robot is because I really do not care whether you buy this or not. Okay. I, I really do not care about selling this one. Uh, I have no interest in the Bitcoin robot and I'm going to show you in a couple moments why. Right. So this is an area that uh, people don't usually show you uh, but it exists at the bottom of the page. Um, well, so uh, people who promote the Bitcoin robot get 60% commission which is pretty generous because most of the time uh, people who promote uh, Forex products uh, get 30 to to 40 percent commission. Um, and then, uh, so here's the thing: it's the world's first Bitcoin robot. There are no brokers, no binaries, no forex, no banks, no holidays, no censorship. It is a 24/7 uh, active system, and it's entirely new and never sold before. Okay, uh, and and this is actually the main reason why I don't want to promote. Apart from the fact that I've actually washed my hands of forex trading. Um, I, I will not sell or recommend something that is new, right? Because when something is new, it could work great, it could backfire, and it could it could uh, become a mess, right? Uh, you guys remember Forex Killer? Well, the same team of guys, right? Yes, they had some good products, some bad products, but um, you know, Forex Killer was one of those things that you know it. it I'm not sure if it even worked. Okay, it was like a market leading thing. Uh, there were some mixed results, but you know, some some made, but many lost. Okay, and and that's one of the reasons why I don't want to back my back a product where most people lose. Uh, I want to back products that people uh, make money as a majority. You know, like like growth bot. Think it actually made money for most of the time eventually lost but you know it still held strong for a very long period of time forex thor that one actually held strong for a long, very long period of time as well uh, and then it tanked right so I, i'm not i'm not for the new fangled stuff okay all right look at this one. Ooh, hooray mega launch birth of a niche uh, let's bring let's bring the conversions back okay let's bring the beat conversions back so yes it was true um, I shifted from Forex to Internet Marketing for a couple of reasons. I shifted from Forex to Internet Marketing because um, you know, uh, it was not making sales. But more importantly, it wasn't profiting. Because when I, when I review and sell stuff, I usually buy them myself. Right? And if it doesn't work for me, I won't sell it. So that's how my site became gradually more quiet and more quiet. I actually still call it went on a downhill trend for its pinmaker.com. It went downhill because I stopped producing reviews because everything out there was crap. Right? That's why I stopped reviewing it. That's why I stopped I stopped promoting. Because it was garbage, right? So this one here saying the beat converters back. It is not always about yes, if it's as a product is new, you will sell more. You will sell more, but so what? If if it doesn't work, if people lose money, what's the point? People are gonna hate you for that. At the same time, you know, if even if it sells, but if it loses people more money than 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 you make profit from, or let's say if uh, if the product sells, but then again, um, you you know uh, the refund rate is high. What's the point? I don't believe in doing that kind of thing. And that's one of the reasons why I shifted from Forex to Internet Marketing. All right, but we'll, let's talk more about that later on, but I'm going to go through the stuff with you, okay? So how do you buy the Bitcoin robot? There's a $149 silver license. as a $248 gold license. There's a $498 platinum license, okay? And 
upsells and cross sells. This is sneaky stuff. So once you pay, um, you get you get shown the uh, uh, unlimited betting access, uh, betting robot access. Uh, I can't remember the name for this one, but yes, there was a sports arbitrage system that these guys produced uh, last year, and it was uh, it was quite a big launch across the internet. I didn't do that one either, right? Because you know, I, I just I don't just go from one thing to the next thing that's gonna sell well. I mean, I don't even know about betting, right? So I, I don't do I don't do stuff that I don't promote stuff that I don't do. I know myself. So I sent one out, okay, and then so this one, look at that. So it's about both upsells together. Discount price of three forty nine, and uh, because you make fifty percent on every sale, it's up to four hundred twenty three dollars per customer for you, which is pretty cool. Uh, promoters, when you buy the stuff, actually make four hundred twenty three bucks, which is not bad. Uh, but as like like I said, I, I'm not doing it for the reasons I mentioned, okay. And and look at uh, look at this. Okay, so, um, all right. So this is for promoters, for people who are promoting forex binary sort or internet marketing. Why should I promote this? Okay, forex is flooded, um, and, and and look at this. Okay, so, um, it it's true. Yes, yes. I this is reminiscent of my blog. Uh, I actually got in uh, about internet in 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 the forex uh, area. I put my first video up. In 2000, and actually it was yeah, it's around 2009. Okay, so so that's when I, I reviewed something called the uh, Trend Trend Forex 2.0 by John Chen. That was actually a very good system. Uh, a lot of people didn't have the didn't have the patience to use it, but it was really good. And now it's actually going for a high discounted price. You know, you can actually click the link in the video description if you want to see it. That is an excellent bread and butter system. Uh, what I would tell you about that one is that uh, you don't have to, you don't have to, don't go for the three profit targets. Go for only one or two. You still can make money on that. All right. It's a, it's a very uh, traditional TA technical analysis kind of thing. Um, and and that one I would say has stood the test of time. It's a system that works well. Uh, Black dot also works well, but Black dot is no longer for sale. Right. So uh, if you want, go for Trend Forex. A link is in the video description. Uh, that still is great. I think the trial is like you know a dollar trial, so it's really no brainer. Uh, you can just go for that and and do it. If you're a technical analysis person, if you're a rob if you're a robot person, forget it. It's not gonna work for you. Um, <clears throat> and then along the way, a lot of trash launches like uh, Tom's EA was trash. Uh, Forex Envy initially seemed good, but it turned out to be trash. I mean, I, I lost. A lot of money on Tom's uh, sorry uh, on on Forex Envy because I thought it was like a comeback kind of thing, but no. Nope. Um, when when Japan had an intervention, uh, <laughs> uh, it was pretty bad. Okay, so uh, exactly. So uh, paired with increasing amount of crap that was thrown in the market, and you can see high subscribers and Darren is something new and have been tapped. Okay, so um, I don't care about untapped once again. I don't care about untapped uh, and. The fact of the matter is, the people that promoted this this piece of software, the Bitcoin robot, also contributed to putting some of that crap into the marketplace. Look at let look at Fab Turbo, right? Uh, it's it it was good for a while, but then it became stagnant. And there was the revisions. So it was like the the version fifty seven, the version fifty eight. I think is that version fifty nine? I don't know. You tell me. Um, and then. But eventually, you know, just kind of plateaued out, and you know, just kind of stay there. Um, what about what about the binary options? Um, yes, binary options is uh, it's pretty good. You can actually make quite a lot of money of it, but you can also lose money pretty fast because it's very very leveraged. Uh, I did that for a while, but uh, well, yeah, I did it for a while, and then pretty much just just uh, I thought I thought like I went back to trading gold. You know, I still trade gold. Uh, it's okay, you know. Uh, <clears throat> if you want to know how to trade gold, you can also uh, ask me for a set of indicators. I will glad gladly uh, offer you some advice on how to get them. Um, okay, so so here's the thing, and then they're talking about internet marketing stuff. You guys have it's flexible, the most uh, variety that you advertise the better, and uh, 
much whatever so yeah so Bitcoin came out in 2009 there's a lot of potential and does it work okay so it talks about um, you know why will why, why it will work or how profit is made okay uh, so that that is that is uh, some of the stuff uh, you know uh, not not real um, this is okay markets uh, it monitors the market for opportunity to to buy and sell and to buy low sell high and to sell high buy low all right and um, that's what it's supposed to do uh, will it work uh, I don't know uh, we'll find out but I'm not I'm not taking a risk with that and and the reason why I won't take a risk with that is look at this one look at this one so this is actually a uh, email from from the guys at uh, Forex Killer and uh, <laughs> yeah so so uh, I mean Steve Uli and the rest there behind this one as well you can see it's Steve um, <clears throat> and um, look at this so 15 July that uh, was good when all very good uh, from again 2000 all the way to to here okay um, by that point is uh, kind of that 14,000 and now we see we see uh, hitting the top okay. and, and and I believe that price action is um, you know it's, it's the same very graph when when you get uh, a triple top what do you get next? You get a correction, right? So maybe that's going to happen. I don't know. It may happen. Uh, a correction. That would be funny. Um, but you look at that. You see, this was between the uh, around the second, maybe second August till from the second till the nineteenth. Okay, that's seventeen days. No profit in 17 days no profit in 17 days I'll say it to you again no profit in 17 days what if you lift on this stuff you know what if you lift on it what if there was no profit for two months what if there was no profit for three months what if there was no profit for one year the reason why people got winded of Forex, the reason why I got winded of Forex was because uh, initially, yes, I was making very good money in 2010, 2011. I was making as much as 20 to 40% per month, per month, okay? And then it came to, uh, you know, a point where it started going down. And eventually, it seemed that I was still making profit, but eventually I was also making huge losses. So, what would it be for you to go out there and spend uh, as if you're making loads of money, only to find that there's a correction half a year down, and then you lose all or more than you gain, but you've already spent the money on other things. You spent future income, because no money is really um, no money is really profit until it's banked. If you bank it, then it's profit. Bank it means you close the account. So that is the key. I mean, if you want to trade this, yes, you can. You can buy it, and then you can you can possibly uh, get out of it when uh, you've made some profit. It's more than the cost of the product. You know, the cost of the product is at one forty nine or two forty nine. If you made more than that amount of money you bank it and then you get out of it all right and if, if it's within 60 days you get a refund um, and it's free okay uh, and honestly that's what I used to do as well <laughs> which is no wonder why um, and, and every smart people do that as well you know to get refunded um, <clears throat> so coming back to this one um, yes so they had uh, <laughs> A DDoS attack against the Bitcoin. Um, so profit makers may have slowed down a site, uh, but it made people realize how many people want a service. Okay, but you know what? Do you really want to let 
this happen to to you? Do you, do you really want to put yourself in the hands of an electronic currency when it's hacker prone? Do you want to be at the at the mercy of hackers? Um, why is this supposed to be better than exchange trading? You know, if you were really serious about trading, I would tell you to go trade futures. Because futures is on the open market, it's not bucket shop and it's definitely hacker proof. <clears throat> um, the, the stuff that I'm going to show you next is going to scare you a little bit. Okay, I'm going to scare you a little bit with this. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go to Wikipedia. And the link to this Wikipedia article is also here. Uh, it's in my blog post. Blog post will be in the video description. So, uh, I'm going to go down to this one. Um, where was that part again? There you go. So, let me increase the screen size. Shit, wrong page. Okay, uh, let me just press it. Uh, do you see it? Okay, so there you go. So, uh, let me just zoom out. Sorry. It's, uh, okay. So the Bitcoin project is experimental digital currency. Uh, Bitcoins are often traded as an investment. And critics accuse Bitcoin of being a Ponzi scheme. All right, and the ECB observes that the Bitcoin currency system shares the same characteristics with Ponzi schemes, but it also has characteristics that are distinct from the common Ponzi schemes as defined by the U.S. Uh, Exchange Commission. Right? Um, and Bitcoins lack intrinsic value. They're not like e-gold. Okay? And, and their value depends only on the willingness of it users to accept it. Okay, so if we compare Bitcoin with eGold, um, what is <clears throat> what is the key? Okay, um, the problem with eGold is that uh, eGold is an electronic currency. Um, if you're if you're speculating gold, it's great because it allows you to buy and sell gold uh, even if you don't have a lot of money. But uh, eGold didn't work so well for people uh, who just wanted to use it as a means to pay. But uh, you know when gold went down, when the gold went down from 1700 to uh, 1200 this year, uh, these people lost more than 30 percent of their uh, paper income. Once again, it's not banked, but they lost 30 percent. And um, like many assets, Bitcoin is also subject to theft, especially because it's electronic. Um, I want to show you this thing about botnet mining okay so so botnets can engage in in, in, in covert mining of bitcoins uh, and also uh, look at this one and on the 19th of june 2011 a security breach of the bitcoin exchange it caused the nominal price of bitcoin to drop to one cent so this hack could actually transfer a large amount of bitcoins to himself and you know he, he used the exchange software to sell them at uh, you know creating massive ask prices. So uh, eventually you know the price corrected to user traded value uh, and accounts with more than but account yeah exactly accounts with more than uh, eight million eight point seven million was affected. So uh, if you look at this stuff, it's pretty disturbing. Um, if you look at the number of hacks and look at this one. Oh, 11 of August 2013. Uh, the Bitcoin Foundation, which is the uh, Bitcoin org, I think, uh, found that a bug in a pseudo random number generator within the Android operating system has been exploited to steal from users' wallets. So, uh, fixes were provided on the 13th of August, but uh, the, the, what I'm trying to point out is that it, it happens so recently. That you know, you you really, you and 13 August also like when this launched, you know, does that disturb you? It disturbs me, even though I wasn't in it, right? 
Um, reception, okay, uh, that, that one's really boiled down to you. But let's actually get back to this page. So here are some of the, uh, the swipe emails. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to actually uh, you know show uh, read this out to you because it, it doesn't it doesn't matter but you know what is uh, what is the risk of okay look at that contest okay what is the risk of what is the risk of Bitcoin trading okay it may seem profitable but I, I really want to go back to the section uh, back here and where where was that? Uh, large fluctuations. Okay, good. Um, There you go. So, um, if you guys have not learned your lesson from, was it Liberty Reserve? Yeah. If you guys have not learned your lesson from Liberty Reserve, uh, this is what can happen. Liberty Reserve got closed for the you the for the owners' involvements in. Uh, illicit drugs, gambling, and also human trafficking. But, uh, you see, Bitcoin could be the next thing. And when that happens, or when the next hack happens, and if the value of the Bitcoin goes down to zero, when you're in many buying positions, what is going to happen to you? Do you want to risk that? Do you, can you can you stomach losing a lot of your money? If you haven't lost enough money already, go for it. Um, I have nothing to say. If you wish to, to lose money, you're most welcome to. I have nothing to say. But you know, if you care and if, if, if the money that you have matters to you, don't do this. Uh, instead, look at internet marketing. Go to the link in the video description. Learn about internet marketing. It's what I've done from then till now. I started out, I mean, I had this whole, I had a bit of a depression phase when life isn't working out for me as well. Because when I lost a lot of money in Forex, uh, a couple of months later, I lost. I lost my, my tennis business that actually fed me and my family for the past 10 years. I lost it. Why did I lose it? Because of the economy, because of the weather, the weather changes, global warming. Um, so the forex pot dried up and the tennis pot dried up and I started afresh in internet marketing. Zilch, no list. But today, so between February and now, when I went serious in internet marketing till now, I made over 23 grand in internet marketing. Is it a lot of money? No. But it's banked money. It's already in the bank. It's already right there in the bank when I know that it can't be touched by hackers. It can't be touched by the volatility of the markets. It is safe, right? Uh, I'm in I'm in Singapore. We have we have fund protection in Singapore. We have we have um, you know guarantees by the bank that uh, because there's a local money authority that the money is safe. So that money is safe, safely stored away. Okay, and how do you how do I reinvest my money? You must be wondering. What I do now is that I actually I actually invest like twenty percent. Of my forex, uh, three percent of my internet marketing profits, back into promotions. 
to promote internet marketing and that allows me to increase my income so internet marketing is not difficult I mean if, if you if you have traded Forex I say internet marketing is easier than trading Forex yes there are many ways of doing internet marketing um, I will share with you many ways of doing internet marketing there are active ways of doing it that involve Facebook that is free and can actually get you easily between 50 to 200 bucks uh, pay raise per day or there are also more passive ways like uh, um, that a little more robotic right uh, where you can actually get people to set up pay-per-click or pay-per-view campaigns for you and you know if you want to know how to do that I won't even teach it to you for the money that you spend on a course like the Bitcoin robot I'm gonna show you how you can actually subcontract people in some of the countries out there like India Philippines or Russia to do the campaigns for you so it's all done for you isn't that better isn't it what you want isn't what you want really about stable predictable income that increases every month and not something that goes away right you want something that is solid and pays you regularly increases every month and that's what internet marketing can do so um, click the link in the video description down below uh, it's the link that says highprofitsociety.com so go to that one highprofitsociety.com go check out the link I'm gonna show it to you it's, it's, it's this one it's, it's one that says this um, it's high profit society this is the link that you go to and what I want you to do is I want you to select your income goal uh, if it's gonna be 500 to 1000 per month if it's gonna be 1000 to 5000 per month uh, if it's going to be 5,000 to 20,000 per month, uh, you know, select the goal. Or if it's more than that, select your goal and press next. And basically enter your email address into that one. That actually puts you into my list. And it also lets me know what is your income goal, right? And once uh, I know of your income goal, you know, we, you can actually contact me also on Facebook to say, hey, Julian, I actually fill out information on your site. Uh, just want to let you know that I've done that and I'm ready to make some money online okay so I'm gonna show you what I've done and if you um, I've, I've for the longest time I've been trying to get the people on my Forex list to just come on and check out internet marketing because this is really rocking stuff in internet marketing there's um, you know there is okay I'll say in Forex or trading there is limited downside yeah, it's limited downside um, which is, which is kind of bad, right? Because the downside is that the money that you put in. Upside potential, well, there is upside potential, but it's, the downside potential is what you put in. In internet marketing, there's virtually no downside. There's no downside. Why is there no downside? Because you don't actually have to put money to make money. You don't have to. You buy a subscription, you buy some tools. Just like when Forex, you buy subscriptions, you buy tools to make money, but you also have to put a sum of money in the trading account. In instant marketing, there's no trading account, you don't need to do that. So the cost is limited just to the tools and the softwares or, or the subscriptions. It's nothing else. It's that simple. But the best part is, once you have the tools, the subscriptions, and if you follow a system of doing it, you will make money. And if you if you don't follow the system, you won't make money. But you won't lose money. Not more than what you what you you pay for the tools and the systems. But in forex, can we say the same thing? No. You can get refunds for the softwares that don't work. But can you get refunds on the money that you lost? When there was central bank intervention. I, I still remember the time when my account went from 38,000 to 5,000. Uh, I went to Interbank FX and uh, I, I told them, you know, what, what is with this? Because within three minutes, it was back up again. You guys pulling a fast one on me? And then all they had to say was that, you know, when you join our trading account, 
you have signed a form that indemnifies us, the company, of exchange fluctuations. So you're supposed to be prepared for that and will not be responsible for your loss. We are regretful to hear of your loss, but we are not responsible for it. And we will not be doing any manipulations on the system end to restore your funds. Great thing to say for so-called the world's biggest trading house. That was uh, a very depressing time, but that was not the first event. There were more. Okay, that was actually the first one. That was when I did Tom's E. No, that was not. No, that was before Tom's E. There was something else. It was uh, another um, local self-design. Not self. Not not by me, but uh, it was a local company in Singapore that actually did that. All right. So that it made me a lot of money in those stages. But once again, you know, like um, you know, the rest is vanished. I, are you sick and tired of that? If I were you, I would just hit down to High Profit Society right now, fill this out, click next. You're going to get to watch a video um, on how to get started on internet marketing. And basically, you know, that's when uh, you just want to get started up and, and uh, you know, you will make some money. So go do that right now. Um, go do that right now and let's make you some serious money online. Okay. Uh, whether your goal is five hundred to thousand, whether your goal is like you know two thousand to five thousand, whether your goal is from five thousand to twenty thousand, or twenty thousand or more, let's work on that goal. I'll, I'll I love to guide you to that goal. I currently am looking to guide you know a small group of people who are serious. Okay, so I hope you can be part of the team. Um, and the best part is the cost to get started up making money online is less than what you possibly pay Bitcoin. So. Um, let's do this together. Let's make some money online, and come on, come on with me. Yes, and I welcome you on board. All right, my name is Julian Wall. Um, check it out, highprofitsociety.com. See you next time. Take care, and let's have lots and lots of profits for you.